Hey everyone, it's Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me. Wanted to pop in real quick to show you how I'm joining my um, Christmas granny squares. I have been making these using the new Red Heart All-in-One Granny Square yarn. So this one ball uh, makes, it says it makes 14, but I got 15 squares out of this. And it has preset color changes. So you can kind of see here on the label, it'll turn out just like this. And there you go, just like that. Um, so each of them um, start with the same color and end with that same black color. And that is why I am using a ball of Red Heart Super Saver in black to join all of these squares together. And I am using the um, granny stitch to join them. And what I like about this is that it's giving me a little bit extra width between um, each of the squares, just to make it a little bit bigger, a little more roomy, instead of, you know, butting the two edges up and um, leaving it like that. I just thought it would be nice to kind of continue that granny stitch, give us a little more room here. So um, I've already actually joined most of this together. So the first thing I did was I joined going horizontal. And now I'm just in my last um, row here of joining them vertically. Now um, I'm gonna just show you how I do this granny stitch. But when I went um, horizontally, I just did a chain two to pop over to that next join. So you will see I have chain twos and that's gonna give me enough room to go ahead and let's turn this over, make those granny stitches in between the squares um, going this direction. So let me spread this out and let's just start. I'm starting, I'm right-handed here, so I'm just starting on the right-hand side. I have my size H crochet hook, which I've been using for this whole project. And um, I start by, I slip stitch, so I have it set out like this. I'm slip stitching into this um, top row and I'm doing the granny stitches into um, the spaces in the, in the bottom row here. So what I'm doing is I start at the top and I'm just joining the yarn in with a slip stitch, just kind of making a chain there just to, oh, hope you can see that. Let's start over. I don't even think I was on camera there. So I'm just joining the yarn in with that slip stitch in the corner, just doing a chain one just to have it secure there. And then I'm reaching down, I'm gonna be working in that first corner there and I'm gonna be making three double crochets to make that granny stitch. Okay. Pull that tight. Now I'm gonna reach my hook back up and I'm going to slip stitch to join right to that spa next space on the top. And I'm gonna reach my hook down to the next space on the bottom and I'm gonna make three double cro crochets for that granny stitch. Go to the next space on the top, do that slip stitch, and then back down, working in that next space. Oh, sorry guys, there's my dog. Okay, so reaching to that next space on the top, slip stitch, Next space on the bottom. Make that three double crochet granny stitch. So we're kind of smooth sailing. Pretty simple. Just pause, show you how that's turning out. So you're gonna have those granny stitches. You will see it kind of matches up to that top uh, square there. So slip stitching up there, reaching back down. And now here's where it gets a little complicated when we get to those four corners. Okay. So I'm gonna reach back up because I see I have one space here. You kind of have to go with the flow a little bit on this one, okay? So I had that space here. And now I'm gonna reach back down because I have one more space here. Make those granny, three double crochet granny stitch, two, three, okay? 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and reach back up. We kind of have our, our little two double crochets here. That was already one join. I'm just gonna kind of join back up here. Just kind of right, you can put your hook kind of right in the middle there or right in this corner, wherever you can reach. Eh. Am I in that? Okay. Joining. Now I'm going to use that uh, chain two from when I joined going this way. And I'm just going to make two more double crochets in the same stitch as my chain two. And that's going to act as my three double crochet granny stitch. Now you do have to join back up to that same spot. Okay. And I did this on the other row too. You kind of have to be mindful of where your stitches are. If you reach too far over, they're gonna start to get um, unaligned. So you will kind of see that as you work one way. And then just when you're working the other way, I just joined it to that same spot because we're in that corner area and we needed this. We didn't wanna go all the way over here. So I wanted to make just one so it's kind of sitting um, where those corners are. And then another um, way to tell if you're um, making enough granny stitches along the edge, um, I count one, two, three, four, five, six, usually for each kind of um, in between square join. So this is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, and then I'll have one more six. And then I'll have six going along here. And I feel like that's a good number. Um, Listen, if you make one more or one less, I think it'll be fine, but that's kind of a good consistent number to think about um, when you're doing this. Just a little tip, uh, makes everything kind of nice and even. So I just started working in that next space. And then like we did before, we slip stitch to the top, work back down. And honestly, you could um, this is a good one. Just sit in front of the TV. You could have this on your lap, just easily joining this. Um, cause you're actually crocheting these together. I feel like it's easier than using your tapestry needle where you have to have it kind of laid out. Make sure you're stitching in the right spot. Um, just working in these spaces, slip stitching to join up here. Let's do, I'll go through one more corner and then I think we'll leave it at that. So I have one more space here. Ooh. I can see I have one more space above. So you're, it's really, it might be a little bit unique with every join because my joins all the way over here or that from, from the previous um, row there. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna work over here see how this turns out. One, two, three, and then I know I have one more space up here. And now, now we're at these four corners. Now we're at this, because I don't have any more spaces. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna reach over and I'm gonna make two double crochets because I'm gonna use that chain as um, one of the double crochets. Okay, so we have that. And then remember, I'm kind of just joining it back up to that same spot up above because that's where all my corners met. Okay, and now I'm gonna work back down into those stitches. So let's just do this and then I'm gonna spread Spread it out to show you what it looks like. Sorry, my yarn needs to be moved over. There we go. Those three, joining to that next space up above. Okay, so let's just take a look where we're at. Okay, it's looking really good. How nicely they're all joined together. You're gonna weave in obviously the um, ends around the edges and I'm gonna go ahead and do the granny stitch for the border too. So we're not quite done, but um, everything's looking good. So 
like I said, you should really have about one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I reached over. So we have one, two, and then we'll have three, four, five, six. So really kind of six is the magic number there. And let me pull this down, move my yarn over just so you can see. It just is such a nice join. I love how these squares, the red and green of the Red Heart Only One Granny Square, just it's turned out perfectly and so easy. All right, so we'll get to the border next. And of course, I'll have all the details on repeatcrafterme.com as well.